this guy thinks he has a problem with noise. He should try hanging out with this guy. <laughs> too loud! Too loud! Too much noise! Green Bear. What? Was I allowed to? <laughs> oh boy. Too much noise! This guy think I thought it was loud? Huh? Should hang out with these guys once in a while. All right, let's see what's going on in his little cabin that's got this man plugging up his own ears. It's so loud. Well, a long time ago, there was an old man. Hmm, old man looks unhappy. His name was Peter, and he lived in an old, old house. Although I must say it looks very cute, quaint, nicely maintained. Looks like it's in line with the small house movement. All right, moving on. Well, the bed creaked. The floor squeaked. Squeak. Outside, the wind blew the leaves through the trees. And the leaves fell on the roof. Swish, swish. The tea kettle whistled. The tea kettle whistled. Hiss, hiss. Too noisy, said Peter. Okay, too noisy. All right. Peter went to see the wise man of the village. There he is. What can I do? Peter asked the wise man. My house makes too much noise. My bed creaks. My floor squeaks. The wind blows the leaves through the trees. The leaves fall on the roof. Swish, swish. My, key, my tea kettle whistles. His, his. Wow. He is a complainy type. All right. Well, let's see what the wise man has to say about it. I can help you, said the wise man. I know what you can do. What? said Peter. Get a cow. But what good is a cow? Well, Peter got a cow anyhow. So off he goes. The cow said, moo, moo. The bed creaked. The floor squeaked. The leaves fell on the roof. Swish, swish. The tea kettle whistled. His, his. Hmm. Too noisy, said Peter. And he went back to the wise man. Get a donkey, said the wise man. What good is a donkey? But Peter got a donkey anyhow. The donkey said, yee-haw. The cow said, moo, moo. The bed creaked, the floor squeaked, the floor, the leaves fell on the roof, swish, swish, and the tea kettle whistled, hiss, hiss. Still too noisy, said Peter, and he went back to the wise man. Hmm, get a sheep, said the wise man. What good is a sheep? You know what happened. Peter got the sheep anyhow. The sheep said, ba, ba. The donkey said, yeah. The cow said, moo, moo. The bed creaked, the floor squeaked, the leaves fell on the roof, swish, swish, and the tea kettle whistled, hiss, hiss. Huh, that hiss is changing. Uh, and it's also getting quite uh, crowded in the little place. Too noisy. I'm surprised he didn't say it was too uh, crowded. And he went back to the wise man. Get a hen, said the wise man. What good is a hen? But... Easy for yourself. He got the hen anyhow. The hen, the hen said, quack, quack. The sheep said, ba, ba. The donkey, meow. Cow, moo, meow. The bed creaked, meh. The floor squeaked. The leaves fell on the roof, swish, swish. And the tea kettle whistled, hiss, hiss. Wow, that tea kettle is really developing. Too noisy, said Peter, and he went back to the wise man. Get, hmm, a dog, the wise man said. Do you feel like he's, like, uh, tricking him or something? And get a cat, too. What good is a dog or a cat? But, you know Peter, he got the dog and the cat anyhow. The dog said, woof, woof. The cow said, meow, meow. And the head said, quack, quack. The sheep said, ba, ba. The donkey, meow. The cow, moo, moo. The bed creaked. The floor squeaked. The leaves fell on the roof, swish, swish. And the tea kettle whistled, hiss, hiss. Now, ha, huh, now. It took him a while. Peter was angry. He went back to the wise man. Ah! I told you my house was too noisy, he said. I told you my bed creaks, my floor squeaks, the leaves fall on the roof, swish, swish, the tea kettle whistles, hiss, hiss. He's thinking, he's thinking. You told me to get a cow. All day the cow says moo, moo. You told me to get a donkey. All day the donkey says hee-haw. You told me to get 
a sheep all day. The sheep says, ba, ba. You told me to get a hen all day. The hen is cluck, 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 cluck. You told me to get a dog and a cat. All day, the dog says, woof, woof, all day. The cat says, meow, meow, I am going crazy, said Peter. The wise man said, do what I tell you. Let the cow go. Let the donkey go. Let the sheep go. Let the hen go. Let the dog go. Let the cat go. Go. Hmm. Hmm. So, Peter, let the cow go, let the donkey go, let the sheep go, let the hen go, let the dog go, let the cat go. Bye, fellas. Bye, everyone. They look kind of sad about it. I wonder if they can find another cranky old man to go live with. Now, no cow said moo moo. No donkey said hee haw. No sheep said ba ba. No hen said cluck cluck. No dog said woof woof. No cat said meow meow. Hmm. The bed creaked. Ah, said Peter. What a quiet noise. The floor squeaked. Oh, said Peter. What a quiet noise. Outside the leaves fell on the roof. Swish, swish. Inside the tea kettle whispered, his, his. Ah, oh, said Peter. How quiet my house is. Are you kidding me? And Peter got into his bed and went to sleep and dreamed a very quiet dream. The end. And that was Too Much Noise, which apparently is all relative. I know what that means. What does it mean? You related to it. No, that's not what it means. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You guys are making too much noise. Oh, sorry. Relative means that it all depends on your circumstances. Sure, relative is somebody you're related to. Like Pink Bear. Yeah. Like Green Bear. And Red Bear and Pink Bear. We're all brothers like that. We're relatives. Exactly. But relative means also that when something is relative, it depends on your circumstances. <laughs> you know this? <laughs> so, so, so what you're saying is that one person's loud is another person's quiet? Exactly. So do you think that maybe in some world I am actually considered quiet? No, there is no world in which you're considered quiet. <laughs> ah, yes. Oh, there they go. All right, we'll see you next time, kid, on Kid Time Story Time. <laughs>